So now that you saw how it drives, I'm gonna tell you my initial thoughts on this car. Well, let's start with the setup, shall we? The the setup that you see in the manual is not that good to drive. So what you need to do is you need to dial in uh, front toe and camber. Uh, you need to have toe out, and then you have to dial in camber. So it has a little bit of camber, I have about 1 to 2 degrees camber and about 1 degree or 2 degrees toe out. Um, next, the gyro, it doesn't include in the package, so you'll have to buy your own. This one is the AFRC V3 uh, that I made a uh, tutorial last week. and. It works really well on this car, so I'm gonna keep using it. And next is the motor, which you'll have to provide your own again. Uh, this is Swift uh, 3500 kV, and it works really, really well on this car. The, the pinion gear is 16T, and uh, and that's uh, pretty much it. So, uh, what I have right now, it uh, it drives all right, but uh, I still got a problem on left turn. Uh, on the right turn, it's all right, but on the left turn, it understeers a lot, 
so I can't really flick the car to the left that well so I'm gonna have to look at that later now let's talk about the problems that I ran into in my build first and the gearbox is uh, is stuck at one spot I suspect because uh, there is a uh, 15T gears inside here and that one is uh, a little bit off center so if I turn it with my hand it is going to stuck at one spot what I knew is that now they have the upgrade for uh, the gear the 15T gear so I can have to get that to get the car working perfectly otherwise it is all right it is not too bad and I don't notice much of a power jerk or power jump or anything but uh, it's still not as smooth as I expected next is one of the biggest problems that I found the front knuckles they are really bad it's like a uh, the bearing slot are not aligned between the inner bearing and the outer bearing so on one wheel uh, the wheel doesn't turn too well on the other it doesn't turn at all so I had to grind a lot of stuff off the knuckles and in the end uh, the wheels are very very wobbly on the knuckles let's zoom in and I'll show you it's like this so it's not the best and this one is even worse so that's not good I think you can uh, fix this problem if you upgrade it to aluminium so you're gonna have to upgrade the aluminium knuckles uh, and then the caster you cannot adjust caster with this uh, stock plastic piece you'll have to get the upgrade to get the adjustable caster does it help I'm not sure because uh, as I told you earlier uh, I have understeer on the left turn so that might help that might not I'm not sure but I'll have to get it anyway and the last problem that I got is the bow caps they are very brittle I already broke these two already so uh, if I zoom in you're gonna see that uh, they both are glued and I can't adjust the toe on this side anymore because they are glued in and <laughs> I can't do anything anymore and not just that the other ball caps are cracked already so again uh, if I zoom in on this one you're gonna see some lines on this bow cap and also on this one I think you can see it is uh, it has a very very visible line of the crack so that's uh, pretty much it so what I think about this car well it is not a complete car out of the box and uh, you'll have to spend a lot of money to upgrade it just to get it working properly uh, it is worth the price I'm not sure because uh, you know I paid I already paid 200 euros for this car and it is yeah it drives but it's not that uh, well and uh, not as uh, as perfect as I expected so what do I do this is a uh, like uh, I just uh, say random things that came to my mind right now because uh, I just can't think of anything else because you know it is, it, this is like I spent a lot of money on it but uh, it, it doesn't do what I expected oh by the way I almost forgot uh, they don't include all the screws so you'll have to provide your own uh, these two M2 screws for the motor and then if you use a mini Z body you'll have you're gonna have to provide your own two screws to hold the front lip as well 
and uh, I think uh, that's oh I, I almost uh, end the video because uh, I forgot that I'm gonna show you the steering angle That doesn't come across really well, so here, here's the steering angle. It is a lot and uh, it is really good. It is enough, let's say. And well, that's pretty much it um, thanks for watching and I'm gonna have another video uh, for review of this car once I fix all the problems uh, so I'll have to wait for the parts to arrive uh, because I think I'll have to replace the front knuckles pretty much all the bulk caps uh, and the caster block so if you have any question or suggestion yeah, feel free to Put it in the comment section below uh, thanks for watching and see you again next time